Imagine a vine, not in a jungle, but in space. Stretching across 13 million light years, connecting 20 galaxies like beads on a cosmic thread. And two of those galaxies, they stopped forming stars more than 11 billion years ago. What if you could see this 12 billion years in the past? Today, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, you can. When we look at the night sky, stars seem scattered. But what if entire galaxies formed patterns too? Like a necklace of pearls, but each pearl is a galaxy. That's what the cosmic vine is, a frozen piece of the universe's skeleton. The cosmic vine is a chain of 20 galaxies, discovered in the extended growth strip using the James Webb Space Telescope's near-spec instrument. Here's why this is jaw-dropping. Its galaxies lie at a redshift of Z, apexamillium 3.44, meaning their light left them about 11.8 to 12 billion years ago. The structure spans 13 million light years long and 650,000 light years wide. Total mass, around 260 billion suns. Among these galaxies, two, Galaxy A and Galaxy E, have already gone silent. We call them quiescent galaxies, meaning they've stopped forming stars. Imagine a city that suddenly turns off all its lights. That's a quiescent galaxy. This structure isn't fully virialized yet, meaning it hasn't settled into a stable cluster. But simulations predict it will evolve into a giant galaxy cluster like today's Coma Cluster. And here's a striking detail. Two galaxies, just 4.5 kiloparsecs apart, are in the middle of a merger, moving at 680 kilometers per second, likely destined to form a future, brightest cluster galaxy. How did these galaxies stop forming stars so fast? most likely through mergers and AGN feedback, energy bursts from active black holes that heat up or blow away star-forming gas. Fast facts. Redshift Z equals 3.43 to 3.45, about 12 billion years ago. Galaxies, 20 in a single chain. Length, 13 million light years. Mass, about 260 billion suns. Key players, Galaxy A and E, both quiescent. Discovery tool, web near spec. This isn't just a pretty pattern. It's proof that the cosmic web, the invisible skeleton of the universe, was already forming when the cosmos was just two billion years old. Think of it as nature weaving its first massive fabric threads. Imagine this vine evolving over billions of years, galaxies merging, black holes feeding, until one day it becomes a massive cluster dominating its corner of the cosmos. And here's the exciting part. This is just the beginning. New web surveys and missions like Euclid will uncover even more cosmic threads. So tell me, could our own Milky Way once have been part of a vine like this? Drop your thoughts below and hit subscribe if you love diving into the universe's secrets. This is WebWatch. Stay curious and let's explore the cosmos together.